Hey everybody, my name is Angie Morenga. You're watching Just Angie. It's the Voices of Ecclesia. We started last Sunday um, a series on marriage. So I'm going to have different people coming to have different conversations around the area of marriage. And I'm very, very happy to have my nephew, Bob, here with us today. Hello, hello. hello. <laughs> How are you? Karibu, Bob. And thank you so much Asante. for saying yes to this assignment. Absolutely, absolutely. We're celebrating five years together. <laughs> yeah, so it's five years of marriage. Mm -hmm. First of all, tell us who Bob is. Uh -huh. hey, you are married to your babies who I love very much. Asante. Mm -hmm. Sana. So, Bob Moravi, mm -hmm. um, I'll start professionally. Okay. I am a creative more than anything else. Yes. Videography, photography, branding, and put together, I come up with communication tools for people. So, I call myself a creative mm -hmm. and a marketer. Okay. Uh, through that, I run Nifty Consultancy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm a husband. Yes. I'm a Amazing. father of two. Who is shocking? Asant Sana. Husband. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. Father of two little rascals. Oh, they are amazing. Ah, such rascals. I know people look at them and say they're adorable. They are come so home, adorable. come home. You'll see the other side. Yeah. But I am very grateful. They are adorable. Yeah. Uh, they're growing quite fast also. Uh, I can remember Hotani being born just the other day. Mm. Now he's even reading. Yesterday he Thank read two you. paragraphs. Uh, I almost sh shed oh. a tear. Oh, it was wow. a very good feeling, though. Uh, but yes, grateful. That's Bob in a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> and it's Jabari and Hotani. Yes, it's Jamari, mm -hmm. who's turning nine next mm -hmm. month in September. Mm -hmm. And Hotani turns five mm -hmm. in December. And they're really good together as well. Mm -hmm. I love that yes, very, yes. very much. Thankfully. And so we wanted to have a conversation. And when I want to talk about marriage, mm -hmm. um, it's been five years. So maybe some of your experiences. I think you wanted to share some of the, of the lessons that you've learned. Right. Because, you know, when you get married... Uh -huh. It's very different from the five-year process that you've been through mm -hmm. uh, for everyone. Yeah. So I don't know what you want to share about that. And then we also talked about maybe you weigh in also about the the the. Are you you guys are millennials? Yes, we but are. We'll, maybe we'll come into that. But first, let's talk about the five years. Now, mm. before I get to these five years, can mm. we backtrack, Kidogo? Yes. I'm so good my to story mm. goes way back mm -hmm. to my childhood, my yeah. upbringing. Yeah. Um, I didn't grow up with mommy and daddy, mm. and. That comes with its challenges. It does. Thankfully, I have a very loving family. Very loving extended family. Yes. Shoshoguka, my aunties, uncles. Mm. They've been very, they've been a very good support system mm. to date. Mm. Um, however, mm. there's always that thing of when you're not growing up, in, when you're growing up in somebody else's home, there's always a sense of, there's a bit of difference. Yeah. Because you don't fit in. The, the, yeah, you don't fit you in. You never quite fit you in. You never quite. It's not a hundred. You can be given a hug, yes, but mm. it's, there's something different about the hug. Mm. It's not hate. It's not dislike. It's not, but it's full, full love. Mm. It's just a little different. And sometimes, would you allow me to say, sure. it could be us. It could be the one who's giving the hug is okay. Very true. But it's me because I really would be preferring to receive this hug from my actual very parents. very true so in fact that's what i was leading to yes you. yes it's mm. pure in fact i feel it's purely about us yeah yeah second guessing the situation and just doubting if this is what it's supposed to be mm. so i had a lot of questions running through my mind as i grew up mm. in fact uh you mentioned millennials earlier mm. and even me, I have my little questions for baby boomers mm. because p our parents, mm. I was having a conversation on Instagram. Please follow me, Bob Moravi, on Instagram. I like Allow that. me to market. You see, no, you guys, Kimenines.com, but it cool. helps. I was saying, sometimes that Kimenines, it yeah. really helps. There it is. That confidence, there it is. It's come out. Uh -huh. Yesterday, I was baby having a conversation uh, with people. That's us, guys. Mm. Yes, about you guys, actually. Uh, what have we done? Now? I was asking, are your parents uh. toxic or is it... Uh, only some uh, what happened let me our start from parents. the beginning our parents millennial parents are they toxic are they toxic they to, us? to be very toxic very uh, toxic i don't understand they, and why. a lot of people were very aggressive about really? the conversation yeah they were like i've asked my dad one million times i mean i've asked my mom one million times what happened to my dad and she shuts me up she asked me, do you have food? Yes. Are you going to school? Do you have, yes. Do you go for holidays? Oh. Then what are we discussing? Let's not discuss that. Do you know where that puts a child? Do you know where that puts a child? You're left you in darkness. Right now. Really? I'm telling you, you're left wondering, okay. You see, for me, it was different because I, I don't mm -hmm. know why. I always say, I don't know why. Mm. Because it's not my wisdom. Right. But I, 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 I did not shut Althea's dad out of her life. And that's but I feel like it's one of the best decisions that I ever made, which I didn't even know I was making mm. at that time. Mm. Because when you shut out, I think it's important. It's Talk true. to these women who shut 
the men out and they they have reasons nobody say they don't have reasons for shutting them out but the, what i always wonder and what i've seen is the impact it has on a child, child. Mm. is is too big i tell you and getting out of it healing being free from that darkness takes oh, a lifetime oh. now that's what happened with me number one number two my story is a little different dad was present yes but mom wasn't mm. you can imagine the challenges that come with that because guys are wondering mm. I, okay but me i was raised in a single parent environment mm. but, but, but but my mom but it's mom who's there not your dad how is it that mom is missing at your end and you'll find people say did she die and i'm like oh god how do i how do i deal with this right from a very young age oh, six four. seven eight nine and it would really it affected me the most i think in boarding school mm. on visiting days you know visiting days is everything for us mom chapos, yeah, rice, yeah, yes. and you can hear people saying my mom is coming with this my mom is oh, coming with that me i'm like oh, who oh, is oh, coming it's for, it's for tears now bob guy what? it's not for tears it's not for tears we are talking we are laughing about it now yeah um and it would be giving you anxiety about who is coming i'm like who is going to come did people come of course every single visiting day there was always either show show auntie liza my late aunt liza yeah. uncle who there was always somebody thankfully i just was never sure who, who was coming what time they would come but if you had you parents know, who were present if i had parents there's no doubt there's nothing coming. to discuss you know life would be a lot easy mm. uh anyway so around that time is when um i started realizing that yes i'm a little different and i need to ask the questions i need to understand myself better i was also getting into teenage Um so I sat down my grandmother she was the easiest to approach and my dad was just no 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 he just shut that story down so just I, like the way the women on the other side shut you, that yes, story down yes like what wh- why are we discussing you have your needs your basic needs and I asked Shosho and she told me I'm so sorry daddy but she considers me as daddy mm-hmm. ha- as her child at the mm-hmm. same time her husband so sometimes she call me daddy sometimes she call me husband and she told me when you're older we'll have this discussion but i don't want you thinking too much about it free your mind from it yeah and because shosho said i moved so that on helped. life yeah um 19 i believe was the turning point in my life age 19 because i had just left high school and i realized okay this is where independence checks in uh, everybody's asking me what's your next move where, where, what are you doing for uni etc and i got myself thinking a lot about my career about who i want to be as a man 5 years you know people ask you 5 years from now where do you see yourself 10 years and age 19 20 was it for me and i remember saying if there's one thing in this world i want and i prayed for it ever since was to be a very good dad and to be a husband oh, oh. yeah and for me it was more i don't want a child to go through what i've gone through purely that's where i get my inspiration from mm. i don't know if that's healthy or not but it's working so far working. so good mm. um so i hate to have to admit this but i was desperate for love i just wanted that warmth of calling a place home my yeah. home yeah. i don't say i'm going my to love. auntie Nani's. somebody's home or uncle exactly. somebody's yes, home or yes, yes. shows home as much as i appreciate it i wanted to just say me mine mm. yeah So it affected my dating life. By the time I was 21, I meet a chick. I'm already telling them what, what would you call your kids? Say we got kids your and they're like, "Where? Me I'm here for other reasons. Slow down. Stop telling me about children, you know?" Fine time. <laughs> Let's have a good time. We'll discuss 10, 15 years from now, not now. Anyway, uh so it did affect my dating life a lot. Um actually with one the one chick I was very serious with. I was about 24, 23, 24. Uh if there's one thing that put us I had to separate us was that because her mind was not there she was not in it and i would say like now for me that's yeah. too early you yeah in fact chill. she was like hey i don't i'm getting into my first job why are you telling me about children my dad doesn't even know you as in why 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 are you fast tracking this thing and that's when i realized okay maybe i'm being a bit toxic to the people around me mm. and i need to just chill um which i did so unfortunately when you raised the way i, I am we take things a bit a bit too serious so chilling for me meant now nah, i'm not even going to date uh now i'm <coughs> taking a proper break um and so i didn't i didn't date through right from age 24 to about 29 when i met my wife so that was a mistake so just for anybody listening there yeah 
24, 23 is too young. Yes. Listen to us, it's Correct. too young. But then you have to keep dating. You because have, it has to be consistent That's how growth. there's the process, the learning. Yes. That's where you're growing. The understanding. Yeah, that's where exactly. your heart is broken. You must experience heartbreak. We don't like it, but Thank you. heartbreak it's is very important. You cry, you wake up, yep. we move on, we understand it's not the end of life. Uh-huh. It's going through the cycle. Exactly. So that gap, because you was didn't have idea. it, was a bad idea. Was a bad idea. Okay. So when I met my wife, mm. ah, head over heels, I in geared upside down. I wasn't thinking straight. And do you know, yes, she's beautiful. Yes, she's funny. Yes, we're beautiful. in the same industry. Mm. Uh, but if there's one thing I was attracted, that, that attracted me to her, mm. was the fact that she was a mom. She was a mom. She was a mom. She was ready. Mm. She was Unlike ready. Unlike the, other the previous people, ones. Uh-huh. So I was Makes like, ah, okay, So now okay. this works. Tick. Now. <laughs> tick. tick. Yeah, I can see the tick. So now that tick, mm. I kind of sort of overlooked other things are the other things yeah uh which was a problem because i didn't even give it time for us to get to know each other well as so the if you're talking to somebody now because this is the marriage series yes. you have to get give each other time you need time to get each other let me tell you something well. about dating that mm. i have learned mm. this is how i look at it mm. you know guys here when you date for five years mm. ten years it's too long mm. i think it's too long why you see, this I is don't how, know. This is how I look at it. Five years is so long. But this anyway, is how I look okay, at it. Bob, it is five to, years yeah. out okay. of a seventy-year relationship. It's true, nothing. True, but okay. It's nothing. We shall keep our differences for that one. But it's okay. Uh, you feel like from where you're coming you at feel? now. Tell me. No, I, I want know to hear your, your, your story <laughs> because I just feel like okay. Maybe for me, I take it from a different premise, and mm. maybe because I'm also older. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You see, like like right now, you see, I would. It's even. It might not be the right thing to say, but right now is a perfect time to get married. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're 56. I have made all the mistakes I can exactly. make, all of them. Yes. So now I'm not looking. I'm very, very clear. Clear. Mm-hmm. And then red flags and red blankets. You see them I from- see. <laughs> hey! And I'm not even trying to call this a red flag. That's yeah. a blanket. Let me tell you, uh, moving on swiftly. <laughs> so, and then, you know, so you're very clear about what you want. Very sometimes true. I wish God, mm. I don't know, would reverse the way we do life. I know. But maybe sometimes I feel like it should be from your from your gut to your heart to your spirit mm. when you meet that person. Mm. But, and there's an assumption I'm making that why you don't need five years mm-hmm. is let's say you date for a year yeah. and you get to know each other. It's the commitment that you make no matter what, because we don't know each other. Yeah. You know, we laugh at weddings. Yeah. It's just that, it's you know, true. you we... can't wear a black hat with a, with a net, you <laughs> know, just for drama because <laughs> you're like, you guys, not today you are smiling here. Have you to. have no what is coming is I coming and we're not you. cursing you yeah it's because two people have come together who do not know each other who are raised differently first of <laughs> the fact that you're raised differently yeah, the idea me. i was watching is it 90 what's that silly thing no no not because silly. Uh, <laughs> i was watching a program where even culture uh-huh. you see two different cultures that's a whole different problem yeah you can be from the same tribe, the same village, the same everything. Yeah. But you are raised by different We simply parents. do things this way in our home. So when I say pink, uh-huh. or when I say dog, I like the one of dog. When I say dog, uh, everybody's going to see a different dog. I tell you. Because of where you've been brought up. Yep. But I think you can date for one year, uh-huh. provided you are totally committed mm. to no matter what comes up in this marriage, we are going to work it out together. Which is a very big Which is what I also saw in yeah. you. I was very surprised because I just guessed. Now you see we're jumping. I guess something it's, was wrong. I said, ah, Bob. Mm-mm. Are you sure? Even if you're trying to tell, ah, uh, ah, 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 <laughs> my spirit, this is your spiritual auntie. You know, you have to have one spiritual Absolutely, auntie. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, My yeah. spirit is picking up, Bob, here. Things are not right. Yeah, you know, fact, but you're right. We are jumping. We are coming We're there. jumping. We are coming uh-huh. there. One year, five so years. So anyway. So you want to know this person. But it doesn't matter whether you know this person for five years. Yes. Imagine, Bob. I, I feel. Coming together still in marriage is uh-huh. going to be different. But anyway. Uh-huh. Anyway, anyway. Mm. Let's agree to disagree. Yes. However, mm. for my age mates out there, which camera? Mm. For my age mates out there, yeah. you Please take your them. time. Take How your time. Are? There is no gun being held to your head. Take your time. Yeah. Because I believe in a, a five-year gap. And I'm just putting five years in. I'm just... Uh, but that's how long you've been figure. married. Eh? Yes, yes, uh-huh. yes, yes, yes. Actually, that's how long I've been married. So mm. I'm correlating it to that. Um, with a time frame like that, you go through the ups and downs together. Mm. You suffer financially. Mm-hmm. You especially COVID. You COVID win. came. Exactly. Yeah, especially COVID, COVID was a big test. In fact, if we were dating and we didn't have kids, I'm pretty sure COVID I would have split us. To be honest, mm. where we figured it, it was so hard. It was such a very 
uncomfortable adjustment because as a creative there's no money coming there is nothing at from both sides you know, I was from, i'm telling you i don't even how do you anyway let's not go there <sighs> mm-hmm. but we did anyway so i met this chick i have been single for five years she has a child she's seeing things the way i'm seeing them i love you what that started flowing and you know unfortunately i found out that yes she has a child but she's in a she's engaged there's a man still in totally. her life yeah mm. and so i was like Allah, mm. i wish you had shared that detail i didn't know so you found and out so I, after i found out after i mean mm. a few a few weeks after mm. and so i backed up from the whole conversation mm. until she explained to me what is really going on and she explained her history uh, she's going through a bit of abuse emotional physical da 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 da, da. and she's actually working out um an exit plan and i was like the best i can do for you is be your friend i'll be as supportive as possible and once you're out we we'll see how things go um two three weeks in i mean later she just calls me and tells me by the way i'm i'm leaving i'm out i'm mm-hmm. looking for home uh, i'm done i need to make my so next looking move. back now yeah and being now an auntie yes that was a red blanket very big red because big, not even you blanket. can't come out <laughs> of one relationship and just jump into another and jump into another very bad idea you have to have the healing process you have to be time to be alone exactly. you have time to process exactly. so this i'm sure will show up and i said you It only will. share what you want yes, and yes, we yes, can yes. never dishonor her yeah, yeah. Her absolutely absolutely and we respect the institute of marriage yeah but that's now what showed up yeah in fact she wishes she, she would have joined us okay but unfortunately I think I'll have she, had, her. she mm. yeah you should actually mm. you should get mm. also her flip side yeah the flip side of yeah. the story so in that situation mm. one way of looking at it is yes red blanket another way of looking at it is maybe god is aligning the stars mm. maybe she, she he's decided that mm. uh, live there come here and it could and work if we had seen it like that if we see it from I the get go Yeah. that it's God aligning yes. but now the hard part yeah. bob is no matter what happens uh-huh. we are in the, we are stay here there we go we're leading to that so we meet um and discuss the details and of course she's a couple of steps ahead i don't have a child mm. she has a child her thought process is very different because mm. she's yeah. looking out for somebody else exactly as well. exactly mm. so her first question I, i think one of her first questions was where are we moving to and i'm like mm. hey We're moving in together. You know, I was literally like five steps behind her. And that's when I realized that Allah, there's a lot to think about. And I was confused. I was frustrated. I was wondering, God, what is this you put me in? Mm-hmm. I've been praying about marriage. I've been praying about children. Mm-hmm. It has come, but I why like this? It was a very uncomfortable situation to be in. Mm-hmm. I used to go to Consolata Shrine. They've got mm-hmm. a little prayer room mm-hmm. where they just let you be. and um I'd go there just to seek guidance from God sometimes from strangers whenever I meet them like I really oh. ask you I mean like a situation what do yeah, I do like like? <laughs> I'm telling you what do I do what do, what I, do, do I, do? I do what would you oh, do you know I, I was so confused I've never been that confused in my life however I a part of me said I really want this and it feels right yeah um Time went by we agreed on a place to stay eventually I said you know what let's make it work mm. um we moved in together so what you see there's a lot of foolishness I had met Hassan only once before we moved in second time we're moving in is when I <laughs> Jamal yeah I'm on. telling you <laughs> that one was a very I wouldn't call it a bad move but it was a very dangerous move yeah. not just for me but also for but the also child but for the child exactly And that was foolish of me because I I I knew better. Yeah. But desperacy for love. Hmm. This, these are the things that it makes you do. And wow. the first month was pure adjustment to first of all parenting. Hmm. Um I get along with children very well. My hmm. cousins, my you name it. But with this one I struggled a bit. It's be, and simply because Jamari, the way you uh, look like you're so uh, I'm t- into uh, each we're other. getting there, we're uh-huh. getting there. But uh, yeah. it's simply because there was a new figure in mm. his life yeah. the resentment was not i wouldn't call it resentment but there's a it's bit also of resistance it's carefulness it's carefulness i think as a, as a human being you just you just you're careful exactly you're naturally like, instinctively yeah instinctively yeah. it mostly came from his side because he's wondering now oh, you who are you why, why are we even in the same house and i could look at him and feel that conversation 
So I realized that job number one, I need to create a bond with this child because mm. if it doesn't work, even well, this won't work. Yeah. You know, I'm telling you, Kinder Joy, it's called Kinder Joy. I used to buy Kinder Joys almost every day because he was crazy about them. I want Kinder Joy. Have, 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 have. Any, I had to be on his good side. Toys, uh, playing with him. I had to, I literally used to allocate time in a day mm, where I him. say, I, I'm going to pick him up That's from good. school. That's yeah, good. yeah, yeah. It was a very good in, initiative hmm. because by the I think in less than a couple of weeks, I you could feel tight. now warmth. You know, hmm. he even used to say hi to me. Um, and I could feel that he was wondering, what do I call this guy? And I told him, just call me Bob. Wow. My intention was not to replace his father, father, was to create a friendship. That's a lot of wisdom, Bob. God, it's God. <laughs> asante, asante, asante. Also, I feel like a huge part of the reason to why God passed me through what I did was to have the wisdom to raise Jamari. To raise, I feel like he pitched to it together Jabari. that way. Yeah. I don't know. So that another, yeah. another generation is saved. Exactly. Because now Jabari will be parented. He'll be a lot different for Definitely. sure. Definitely. I can even I tell. Him. He's even eight already. years old. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's not the eight-year-old I was. Yeah. Why lie? Really? You know, he's not. He's not. Just he's because not. you've been intentional about your love. Very true. And the and and love and loving him. Yes. And being intentional about having exactly. a relationship with him. Yeah. And I remember, I don't know whether uh -huh. that's jumping, but when uh -huh. I had there were a few problems in the marriage, the first thing I went to to Jabari. Right. I was like, what about Jabari? But I will never it was one of my most proudest moments with you, Bob. Mm, I must say. Thank you. Is when you said, That's my son. Mm. They are both my children. And I'm going to look after them. Mm. Me, I almost died and collapsed. But anyway, oh. <laughs> yeah, we don't even have time enough for this. But anyway, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now you're bringing the game. tears. <laughs> yeah, now the tears are here. But for me, I real, I came off that phone but and thank I was you very like, much. wow. I don't know if it was the phone or Instagram. You know, you guys and your generation. Uh, I don't know if it was even but, IG, the things we communicate. Yeah, but I, but felt I remember that conversation. That response that for call. me. Yeah. And then that's that's even made me what made me want you on the show. Mm. I said, one day when he's ready, I want him here. You know why? Right. Because I need to tell other people like, mm. that it wasn't. For the first time, I felt like, for me, I looked at you as an adult yeah. because an adult takes responsibility. Correct. You don't shy away mm -hmm. from responsibility at the first sign of trouble. Exactly. But very many people are out there, yeah, yeah, yeah. if they have a child under that circumstance, mm -hmm. they just let go. It's true. A and lot of so broken unfair. homes. You've, 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 you've invested in this child, so mm -hmm. you can't. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that you said, both of them are mine and I'm going to work this out with Correct. both of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I've worked uh, on my relationship with Jamari. And it's Fick at a point, he's even wondering, what should I call this guy? And I tell him, call me Bob. I'll be your friend. Uh, I'll help you do homework. I'll, I'll play with you. We'll go to church together. Uh, I'll take you for swimming, etc. And that's how we had structured the family. Njoki was a bit worried about it, of course. As a mother, she was mm -hmm. wondering, I, you're coming on board as a friend. Uh, I thought you're committed to this. And so we sat down as a couple. A lot of people don't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, these serious conversations where let's sit down and discuss how we're operating. <clears throat> people really overlook that. Um, so we sat down and I explained to her my history. I explained to her why you can't just step in and change names and do this and that and that and that. Because how she expected a proper, a quick a flip switch you know and i told her no i don't think that's healthy for any of us thankfully she was understanding and yes so life is good we've bonded well we're working together as a triangle etc and <coughs> now it's time to pay school fees for jamal to go to school and baby daddy goes quiet he abandons that story in fact he says please don't call me again yeah, don't call me again. I think you made a decision. I wasn't ready for it. Now comes down to the financial discussion that we should have had if we had dated. For five years. For five years. <laughs> so we have a very uncomfortable discussion where, of course, in the, what's, how do I put it? In the conventional world, it's the man who takes responsibility, A, B, C, D. Yeah, especially for the children, for providing education, etc. Uh, I wasn't ready for it. I, di I didn't have savings. I didn't have a plan per se. I had a salary, thankfully. Uh, I was financially stable then. And I wasn't too worried about it. But I wasn't ready to pay school fees. Yeah, And before I remember, Jokia told me, you don't worry. We got this under control. Uh, he'll, he'll handle the responsibilities. And the, three months in is when I realized that, no, we have a very, I have a very big role. I have a bigger role than I realized as a parent. 
it's not just about smiling with a child it's not just about playing it's with them provision. it's now provision and so i approached joki and told her then if this is what we are doing can we adopt the child can i adopt the child mm-hmm. yeah would you at, uh, honor me with uh, at least with that and there was it was a no brainer she was like yes i can see you're committed i can see you're serious Uh, I think that's when I got in now. I got a lot more invested. I was at like 65%. I got, I got to, to like 85. Okay. Uh, what took me to 150? After we've had okay. this discussion, Joki gets pregnant or rather we get pregnant. And I'm like, "Haya. Baby number two. another one. <laughs> I'm only adjusting into this. There's a second one. Consolata shrine, prayer room." Oh, God. <laughs> God. Did you still ask the people who were there? I, I, I did ask this. somebody. <laughs> I did ask somebody. <laughs> this was a show show actually I met. Uh, mm. At least she's actually part of this story. Mm. Where I explained everything to her and she was like, "Guy, my son, what are you doing? What's the rush?" And so I explained right from the beginning and she told me, um, "Okay, I think you're being a bit careless with A B C D, mm. but to me it looks like these stars are already aligned." How do you feel do you love this girl mm. do you love the child how would you feel about having your own child say this other child was not there mm. she asked me a lot of tough questions Good. yeah which is what i needed by the way mm. after that conversation by the way she told me can you go home to your family stop disturbing Amen. me yeah and i was like hello i feel like that's how god talks to me through people and I, to be honest that's what he does yeah that's your model right? yeah it works oh, it's you. my model and it mm. works for me uh because there are some people who will say something and i'll be like uh, yeah <laughs> anyway So I said let's go home uh, and I tell Joki I think let's do this right. Let's let's get married. Okay. Um which was good. She was excited. She loved the idea. Only thing I was suggesting we do AG and maybe have lunch later mm. with the But family. But you know us guys how now? Yeah. So you know African families. Ah, ah. standard. In fact, I realized Any excuse for a wedding. Ah. Let's go. <laughs> we don't even think about it so we're well, like 20. Yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, at the AG, so who's going to the AG? Yeah. <laughs> hey, please. Was Guka around at that time? Um Had you already passed? Because he was, he would have blown it out of proportion as Ukamurenga well. Ukamurenga was, but unfortunately. No, Ukamurenga. No, no, he wasn't. He yeah. wasn't. Ah, ah, he yeah. would have made something else out of it. We don't ah, do it. Yeah, me. Nairobi would have been shut down. Mm. <laughs> anyway, so, um, comes down to the marriage discussion. Mm. Where I explained to her that I want to do the whole AG thing. And she's like, hey, hey, hey. And then also maybe for her maybe should I preempt her? Yes. Every woman wants a white wedding. Oh, absolutely. Maybe a white wedding. Absolutely. So is In that fact, what the problem was? When she explained it, mm. she wasn't demanding. By then it was such it's a, a weird conversation mm. like please. I would rather even wait if it's a white wedding uh, and do it properly. And do it properly. Mm. And I was thinking I would rather Get, get married. to the ages and then we can do a white wedding yes. whatever it is yes. or throw a big bash later yeah. it's amazing how you see how we think differently i'm telling you we're all on different sides yeah, of the yeah. equation and creating mm. the balance is where mm. now the real jobo mm. in, in in relationship mm. comes we decide to get married mm-hmm. uh goes very well thankfully we have yeah. a beautiful white wedding she got her white wedding heavily pregnant i will mm. share the pictures with you guys mm. <laughs> uh but we really pigan sherehe it is see it is see We got married six we planned our wedding in six months every single month was a traditional uh, event yani we really kimbiza it after the wedding uh, now it was time to think about hotani i had three months our due date was december actually it was january of 2018 he came in december such kerere <laughs> gen z <laughs> anyway um hotani comes we sort out the bills everything is okay fast track hotani is about six months now and mm. it's time for njoki to go back to work we can't find work before we were a partnership uh i handled things when she was pregnant during the wedding uh after baby came i was handling things uh independently single-handedly and then now it's time to go back to work and i'm here thinking i was all s- kind of sort of anticipating when she's going to go back to work because the challenges at home um the nannies there are certain things i just couldn't handle yeah um she's not getting work fast track the whole of 2018 there was no job we get into 2019 thankfully a friend comes through and says come to ntv we're looking for a producer i feel like you fit the profile i don't even think you need anything special no phone calls nini you just show up for the interview she gets a job 2019 on my side what is happening people are switching 
um, I used to create TV shows, yeah, but people are switching from mainstream media into mm, digital. Digital. So there was a very big and uncomfortable switch for us producers because guys are not watching our content, and so media houses will not pay us. We needed to figure out how to go online because guys are doing the math. I would rather pay one thousand bob for Netflix than eight thousand bob for DSTV, mm. and we were being paid out of subscriptions. Things started going south now. Has now, at least she's going back to job. Oh, mine is switching. And this is why I insist. This is a phase you'd rather go through while you're dating. Not under the same roof, raising children. Yeah? And that's why I always push that agenda. That people should date long enough in order to... Then make the decision exactly, to get married. Exactly. Hey, the story is just... I don't even know what to say. We have to end it here. But we must continue, so look out for the second part of this series that we've started doing with Bob. And I hope you're learning, and I hope you're engaging. God bless you. Bye-bye.